We often picture dinosaurs as slow, lumbering giants. But the truth is, some of them were absolute nightmares. These weren't just big, they were engineered by evolution to hunt, dominate, and survive in a world where only the most lethal creatures ruled. We're diving into 10 of the most dangerous dinosaurs ever discovered. The ones we're lucky aren't around anymore. Some had jaws that could shatter cars. Some hunted in packs. Some had claws longer than your arm. This isn't just about size, it's about how efficient and terrifying these animals really were. Let's start with the biggest aquatic terror on land. Spinosaurus, the semi-aquatic apex. Spinosaurus wasn't just big, it was an absolute unit. Measuring over 50 feet, 15 meters in length and weighing close to 20 tons, it easily outclassed the famous Tyrannosaurus rex in size. But Spinosaurus didn't hunt or behave like T-Rex. While T-Rex was a land-based predator that stalked plains and forests, Spinosaurus carved out a unique lifestyle. It's now considered the first semi-aquatic dinosaur we know of a genuine river monster. This dinosaur lived around 95 to 100 million years ago during the mid-Cretaceous period in what is today North Africa. But back then, the region looked nothing like the modern Sahara. Instead, it was a lush, wet ecosystem dominated by river systems, swamps, and deltas ideal terrain for an aquatic predator. Fossil evidence from places like the Kem Kem beds in Morocco shows that Spinosaurus shared this environment with enormous fish, crocodile-like reptiles, and even flying pterosaurs. Now, what made Spinosaurus so adapted to the water? A lot, actually. It had dense limb bones, which reduced buoyancy and helped it stay submerged while swimming similar to how modern-day penguins or crocodiles function. Its elongated, crocodile-like snout was filled with straight, conical teeth, ideal for gripping slippery prey. There were no serrations like a T-Rex's steak knife teeth. This thing wasn't slicing meat, it was snatching and holding onto fish. Plus, it had pressure-sensitive pits on its snout, like modern crocodiles, allowing it to detect movement in water. That means it could hunt in murky rivers without even needing to see its prey. And then there's the tail. A recent game-changing fossil find in 2020 showed that Spinosaurus had a broad, fin-like tail, shaped almost like a giant paddle. This wasn't just an adaptation, it was definitive proof. Spinosaurus could propel itself through water. No other known dinosaur had a tail like this. It swam like a crocodile or even a newt, making it a genuine aquatic predator. Its iconic sail, a massive structure of elongated neural spines stretching up to six feet tall along its back, remains a mystery. Some scientists think it helped regulate body temperature, acting like a giant radiator. Others propose it was a display structure to intimidate rivals or attract mates like a peacock's feathers. There's even a theory that it helped the dinosaur blend in with the reeds while stalking prey in water, camouflaging its outline like a jagged shadow among aquatic plants. Spinosaurus likely hunted huge prehistoric fish like Onchopristus, a sawfish-like creature with deadly rustral teeth, or Mosonia, a gigantic chelacanth the size of a car. But it wasn't limited to water. Spinosaurus may have ambushed terrestrial animals at riverbanks, using its powerful forelimbs and claws to drag prey into the water, crocodile style. Next comes the Utahraptor. Utahraptor is basically the dinosaur everyone thinks Velociraptor was. In pop culture, velociraptors are shown as these human-sized, terrifying pack hunters, but in reality, the actual velociraptor was the size of a turkey. Utahraptor, though. That's the real deal. It was massive for a raptor, nearly 20 feet long and weighed over 1,000 pounds. Imagine something with the agility of a cat, the claws of a tiger, and the intelligence of a bird of prey, all wrapped into one feathered nightmare. Its most terrifying feature were those sickle-shaped claws on its feet, each one about 9 inches long, long enough to pierce flesh and cling onto prey. Experts believe Utah Raptor might have hunted in coordinated packs, ambushing larger herbivores by leaping onto them, pinning them down and slashing away with both feet and teeth. It was fast, agile and deadly traits that made it a top predator in the early Cretaceous period. And yes, it had feathers. Not the full wings you'd see on a bird, but enough to suggest complex behavior maybe for warmth, balance during fast movement, or even to signal to other raptors. That blend of bird-like traits with raw killing power makes Utah Raptor one of evolution's most efficient designs. It lived in what is now Utah, which was once a dense, humid forest teeming with prey. In that world, Utah Raptor wasn't just a threat, it was a perfectly tuned predator that blurred the line between birds and beasts. And now, you can't talk dangerous dinosaurs without bringing up Tyrannosaurus rex, the undisputed king of prehistoric predators. And no, it's not overrated. It earned that title fair and square, 
Let's start with size. T-Rex was a giant, nearly 40 feet long from nose to tail and standing 12 feet tall at the hips, that's about the height of a two-story building, and it wasn't just tall, it was built like a tank. This thing weighed up to 9 tons, that's heavier than an adult elephant, packed into a frame that could move. T-Rex had the strongest bite force of any known land predator somewhere between 6 to 12 tons. For context, a modern-day saltwater crocodile bites at about 3,700 pounds of force. T-Rex could deliver more than 10 times that. It could literally crush bone like dry twigs. Fossils of prey show shattered bones with puncture wounds from T-Rex teeth, which means it wasn't just slicing, it was turning its victims into mush. And those teeth were thick, banana-shaped and serrated, perfect for gripping and tearing through flesh, organs and even bone. Each tooth could grow up to 12 inches long, and it constantly regrew them like a shark. It could run or more likely power walk at 20 to 25 miles per hour in short bursts. That's faster than a human sprint. And despite having a skull the size of a bathtub, T-Rex had some surprisingly advanced features. It had binocular vision eyes set forward like a hawk which gave it depth perception for hunting. Its olfactory bulbs were huge, meaning it had a killer sense of smell, possibly better than modern vultures. That made it good at finding prey, and maybe even sniffing out carcasses if it felt lazy. T-Rex lived in what's now Western North America about 66 million years ago, during the very end of the Cretaceous period. And it wasn't the only dinosaur around. It shared its world with heavily armored herbivores like Ankylosaurus and Triceratops animals with tail clubs and head shields so intense they look like living tanks. And there's a reason those herbivores evolved armor like that, because T-Rex was real and they needed all the help they could get. Before Spinosaurus took the biggest carnivore crown, Giganotosaurus was one of the top contenders. It lived around 98 million years ago in what's now Argentina. It measured 43 feet long and weighed about 8 tons, slightly longer than T-Rex, though not as heavily built. Giganotosaurus had a massive skull with sharp, serrated teeth, but its bite wasn't for crushing bone, it was for slicing. Its jaw worked more like scissors than a vice, delivering quick, deep cuts that caused fatal blood loss. Its main prey was some of the biggest animals to ever walk the earth titanosaurs like Argentinosaurus, which were over 100 feet long. That means Giganotosaurus probably hunted in groups to bring down prey that size. Imagine a coordinated pack of 40-foot meat-eaters working together to take down a creature the size of a building. That's Giganotosaurus. Next up is Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus looked strange. It had two thick horns above its eyes, tiny arms even smaller than T-Rex's, and a bull-like face. But it was fast, really fast. Its body was slim and muscular, built for speed across the plains of Cretaceous South America. Some estimates suggest it could sprint up to 30 miles per hour. Its jaws were lined with teeth, adapted for quick, shallow bites, more like a hit-and-run killer. It may have used its speed to chase down smaller prey or juveniles of larger species. And those horns? They weren't just for decoration. They may have been used in combat either against prey or rivals, possibly through headbutting. Carnotaurus was essentially a flesh-eating cheetah with horns. Deinonychus. Deinonychus wasn't huge around 11 feet long, but it was built for killing. It had a terrifying weapon, a large sickle-shaped claw on each foot, which it could raise and lower like a switchblade. Paleontologists believe it used that claw to slash through flesh and possibly disembowel its prey. Deinonychus likely hunted in packs. Coordinated attacks would allow these relatively small dinosaurs to bring down much larger animals like Tenantosaurus. Their intelligence, speed and group tactics made them especially dangerous not just because they could kill you, but because they could outsmart you. Its discovery in the 1960s even changed how people thought about dinosaurs helping shift the image from slow reptiles to agile, intelligent creatures. Allosaurus Allosaurus was the T-Rex of its time-top predator of the late Jurassic. It measured around 30 to 35 feet long, had sharp, curved teeth, and a more lightweight build than T-Rex. But what made it dangerous was its jaw mechanism. Unlike most predators, Allosaurus may have used its upper jaw like a hatchet slashing downward with incredible force, causing massive wounds even without a crushing bite. It likely hunted large herbivores like Stegosaurus and Diplodocus, possibly in groups. Fossil records show Allosaurus bones with healed injuries, which means they survived brutal fights and kept hunting. These weren't just killers, they were survivors. Now comes one of the strangest dinosaurs ever discovered, Therizinosaurus. 
It had a pot belly, a beak, feathers, and arms nearly as long as its body, each ending in three foot claws. It was an herbivore, yes, but its claws could shred through vegetation or predators. These scythe-like blades were likely used for defense and possibly to intimidate or fight off rivals. Therizinosaurus stood over 10 feet tall and looked like a feathered monster from folklore. It lived in late Cretaceous Asia, possibly roaming forests or floodplains. Its appearance is so bizarre that when its claws were first found, scientists thought they belonged to a turtle. If you cornered one, those claws could easily disembowel you in seconds. Friendly vegetarian? Only from a distance. Majungasaurus was a terrifying predator that lived in what is now Madagascar about 70 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. At around 20 feet long, it wasn't the largest predator around, but what it lacked in size, it made up for in brutality. This dinosaur was part of the Abelosaurid family, known for their short, stocky builds and bizarre skull shapes. Majungasaurus had a particularly thick, almost bulldog-like skull complete with a short snout and a single bony horn on its head, possibly used in headbutting contests or intimidation displays. What really sets Majungasaurus apart, though, is its disturbing appetite. Paleontologists have found fossilized bones of other Majungasaurus individuals with distinct tooth marks, marks that match the spacing and size of Majungasaurus teeth exactly. And these bite marks aren't on the kinds of bones you'd expect a scavenger to gnaw on after a creature's been dead for a while. They're on the fleshy, meaty areas that suggest the animal was either attacking a live prey or getting to a fresh kill before anything else did. Either way, it points to cannibalism. Cannibalism in the animal kingdom isn't unheard of. Some modern predators like crocodiles and Komodo dragons do it under certain conditions like food scarcity or dominant struggles. But for Majungasaurus, this behavior may have been more than just occasional. The evidence is frequent enough to suggest it wasn't just desperation, it could have been part of its normal predatory strategy. That paints a dark picture. A creature that not only hunted other dinosaurs, but would turn on its own kind when the opportunity presented itself. Majungasaurus was a top predator with a powerful bite, a weaponized skull, and apparently no sense of loyalty to its own species. In the brutal ecosystems of ancient Madagascar, survival of the fittest sometimes meant survival of the most ruthless and Majungasaurus fit that role perfectly. Mapasaurus Mapasaurus is often overlooked, but it's one of the most terrifying predators we've ever discovered. It was a close relative of Giganotosaurus and grew up to 40 feet long. But what's most shocking? We found multiple fossils of different individuals together. This suggests they may have hunted in packs working together to take down massive prey like Argentinosaurus. One Mapusaurus is bad enough, but a team of six? That's an unstoppable force. Its skull was filled with sharp teeth ideal for slicing, and its build was powerful but agile. It lived in what's now Argentina and likely ruled the land with precision. Imagine a pride of lions, but each one is the size of a school bus. Thank you for watching. If you like this trip through deep time, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Until next time.